Now, on the subject of raising the awareness about genocide, I'm also very grateful to CHDS Interim Director Joe Eggers, who introduced me to David Feinberg, the founder and director of the Voice to Vision project. Voice to Vision project is about collecting memories and testimonies of the survivors or people who, communities who experienced uh, instances of mass atrocities or genocides. And I worked with a group of amazing contributors, artists, activists, educators, and leaders who helped me to create work addressing the historic genocide of Ukrainians, the Holodomor, and the modern genocide perpetrated by Russia and this brutal war against Ukraine. In 1933, my grandparents were able, were lucky to survive the Holodomor. They survived because they lived by Azov Sea and there was fish, and that's how they survived. Today, my relatives from Mariupol are victims of this new Russian aggression. So I dedicate this work that you're going to see in a little bit. I dedicate this work to them and all victims of genocide in Ukraine. It is a great honor and privilege to show this artwork for the first time today in the presence of such a distinguished guest in our Ukrainian community and friends. One of my collaborators in creating this work is Professor Luis Ramos Garcia has kindly agreed to introduce the art piece. Professor Ramos Garcia is a University of Minnesota professor in the Spanish and Portuguese department where he directs the state of Ibero-American Studies series, Human Rights Across the Discipline Program. Luis is the recipient of numerous awards, including the 2017 President's Award for Outstanding Service, the 2019 Award for Global Engagement, and the honorific title of Distinguished Global Professor. With David Feinberg and Elsie Chavez Solano, he was awarded the 2023 Human Rights Initiative Grant. He has been a voice to vision partner since 2015. Welcome, Professor Ramos Garcia. Good afternoon. On behalf of David Feinberg and the Voice to Vision team, among them Beth Andrews, Sima Sheriar, Peter Trudan, Ben Mackey, Kim Shi Huang, Kirk Allison, Travis Balitz, and Kyle Balitz, and the State of Ibero American Studies Series, Human Rights in Latin America from the Spanish and Portuguese Studies, I have the honor to transmit the works written by Professor David Feinberg, director and founder of Voice to Vision, who could not come today. Uh, this is a very small note on Luda Anastasievsky artwork because we are Ukrainians. On February 16, 2023, Luda Anastasievsky became the 101st storyteller to participate in the collaborative art project Voice to Vision. Voice to Vision captured the extraordinary experiences of people from different parts of the world who have encountered human atrocities. Their stories are first shared through dialogue and then transformed into works of visual arts. In 21 years of existence, Voice to Vision never worked on a genocide piece while the genocide was happening. It has been a real learning experience for all of those involved. Most of our past storytellers were tentative at first, and it took some coaxing to bring out their memories through the art process. Luda has had a running start, painting like she had been an artist for years. The professional art team that consisted of, of up to eight people Per session was astonished at each meeting by her passion and the imagery that she created. We are all honored to be part of the creation of this amazing and powerful artwork that is a symbol of the commitment towards a free and independent Ukraine. I'd like to invite now uh, Ben Mackey and Kirk Allison, members of the Voice Division, to unveil the artwork of Luna. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you so much, Professor Ramos Garcia. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Kirk, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, really uh, appreciate it. And the board of the Ukrainian Center is very proud that Yuluda was able to be part of the Voice Division project. And thank you so much for helping her co-create this and this really meaningful and, and thoughtful art piece.